Coming at you from the Rose City, the best of WCC men's basketball, ready to go from the Child Center. 14th ranked Gonzaga, take it on the hometown Portland Pilots. Always fun when the high flying Zags are in the house. A quick look at the WCC standings going into today's action, brought to you by Cal Hope. St. Mary's continues to set the pace at 7 0. Gonzaga with that loss to LMU at 6 1, and the Portland Pilots at 3 5, looking to make a push. Good afternoon, everybody. And shots to him by my broadcast partner, good friend, that's Jennifer Mountain, former great at Gonzaga. All right, key players of the game presented by Nike. We've got Drew Timmy, but don't you dare underestimate Moses Wood. Yeah, Drew Timmy on track to be the third all-time scorer in GU history, two-time All-American. With the talent that, that's, that's come through Gonzaga, that's a huge statement right there. He leads the nation in made field goals and the second in scoring. The footwork, the ability to create in angles and to finish is top notch. And he's a playmaker. He can flat out change the dynamic of a game in multiple ways. And he is a winner, has never lost back to back games. And then Moses Wood has emerged as a team's leading scorer and rebounder for the Pilots. He can score at all three levels. He's a dynamic defender. He had 19 and seven the last time against the Zags. Table is set. Bulldogs looking to continue their domination over Portland. Pilots looking to take a page out of LMU's book. We'll soon find out if the Pilots have got the home cooking going today. Lineup set tip coming up next. A packed house, as you would expect here at the Child Center. We're on the campus of the University of Portland, where the Pilots will host 14th-ranked Gonzaga in a key WCC men's matchup. Today's starting lineup is brought to you by Numerica Credit Union. Pay bills, deposit checks, and access your accounts 24-7 with digital banking at Numerica Credit Union. Federally insured by NCUA. Equal housing opportunity. All right. Start lineup for the... Gonzaga Bulldogs, the usual suspects. They've uh, enjoyed the same starters this entire season, and they'll come at you in waves in the backcourt, frontcourt. Portland Pilots, a little bit of a starting lineup as of the last three games with Naduka and Gorosito starting for the Portland Pilots. Robertson, Wood, Sholin have been starting all year long when healthy. Today's keys to the game. JMO will be with you at a moment. We gotta let you know they're brought to you by Northern Quest Resort and Casino. You can earn your bragging rights at Northern Quest with more slot machines, table games, restaurants, lounges, luxury hotel rooms. You got them more than anybody else in the region. Northern Quest, yes, the best. More at northernquest.com. JMO, keys to the game. Well, for Gonzaga, really important. They want great ball movement. 
but pace on the offensive end, and they really need to shoot the ball well from the three-point line. And if you're Portland, you need to make sure that you take care of the ball, and transition defense is going to be key. You do not want the Zags getting out and going. Gonzaga has won 14 straight over the Pilots. 13 of those victories, J-Mo, double-figure wins, including earlier this season when Gonzaga rolled the Pilots in Spokane, 115 to 75. Portland obviously hoping that the home crowd will get them going, and could they post the massive upset? You're absolutely right, and this is a team that has really had injuries in and out with people and lineup changes. Being at home, obviously a great atmosphere. They've got people that are healthy, and they've got four or five guys that can really put up numbers with double figures. The last Portland win over this bunch, January 9th of 2014. That's a long time ago yeah. when these guys were just young pups. Yes, they were. You look at this Gonzaga bunch and the way that they responded after losing to LMU. They had a tight one against Pacific, 99-90, and that game went down to the wire. And recently, for this Gonzaga team, they've had some close conference games. Well, I mean, they have the target. Every time they go out, they're going to get everybody's best game. But four out of their last five games really have been decided in that last minute or so. But the thing about this Gonzaga team is they have a lot of experience. They have a lot of confidence. And, and just have been in, in situations where they're ready and prepared. Well, you watch West Coast Conference action. Join the conversation using hashtag WCC Hoops. And for the latest news, scores, and more, follow WCC Hoops on Twitter. So the lights are coming back on. The starting lineups announced the Portland Pilots at 11 and 12, 3 and 5 in conference play. Lost at LMU the other night. J Mo swept by the Lions. We know what a good team Stan Johnson has going with LMU. But this is a Portland club that led by 10 in the first half against LMU and then got boat raced in the second half. Well, it's a team that can really shoot the ball well from the three. And if they're hot, they've got a great chance of being in games. The other night at LMU on the second half really struggled to score the basketball. And that's where they found themselves in trouble. But, you know, new game, different situation, and a, and a big, big opportunity for the Pilots tonight. Gonzaga was number six before that loss to LMU. They still have the swagger, the blue blood mentality, and Portland is going to have to come up with the best game that they could possibly imagine to post the upset we're underway. Well, obviously, Gonzaga has so much talent. But don't count these pilots out. They're very gritty. And right there, right off the bat, great defense and got a steal to start the game. Great job to deny Timmy. You know, Gonzaga's going to go inside and out with that piece down low. Here's Gorosito. There's the inside look, the attempt to Naduka. As Chico was all by himself, a good foot work by Gonzaga. Well, Gorzita, obviously with the right read there, just didn't execute the pass with the kick ball. But we talked about, you know, things that, that are really important. And Gonzaga not turning the ball over has got to be a huge key. Naduka, a recent starter for the Pilots. See what kind of ball movement can result in a good look. Gorosito with the pump fake. Didn't want it. Six on the shot clock. T Rock. Back ribbon off. Ball loose. Boom! Showing garbage time with the slam. Well, that was Moses Wood also going to the offensive glass. He's a great rebounder for this pilot team. And he's showing with a great finish there. Alex opening up the scoring with the slam. 2-0. Way here at the Child Center. Great crowd on hand. Buzz, energy, you name it. Seven on the shot clock. Wild take. Nothing there for Bolton. Uh, just unforced air right there by Michael Robinson, not knowing coming from behind. Look Great at that pass. look inside. And that is all Nolan Hickman. Yeah, I know. Andrew Nebhard, he graduates that great point guard last year. But how about the evolution and progression of Hickman? Well, he just continues to get better and better throughout the season. Obviously, with a great look there, but he can oh. score the basketball, run the, run the show, and, and doing a great job for the Zags. Two apiece. There's Sholin. Didn't want that outside J. Eight on the shot clock now for Gorosito. There's the slip. Naduka can't get the reverse. Another offensive rebound by Sholin. Stepping into the three is Wood. You bet. 
Well, again, a great job of getting to the glass by the pilots, and that's a great opportunity on the kick out there for the three. Great energy play by Sholand again on the offensive board. Another basket at the cup. The cutters are just magnificent, and they get rewarded. Well, the thing about Timmy, number one, is yes, he can score, but he gets double team, triple team, and right off the bat, he anticipates that, finds the open man down low. Timmy loves a double team. Timmy invites a double team. Invitations to a double team. <laughs> How about the Portland Pilots aggressively going to the offensive glass, this time drawing the foul, Hickman with his first team's first. Again, Sholand going to the boards right there. Him and Moses Wood, you know, really athletic. You talk to Coach Leggins, and, and he, he thinks Sholand's body, athleticism, is NBA type, and he's doing a great job so far getting tips. Travel's going to go against Wood. The ball was kind of knocked out of his hands. Drag that pivot foot a little bit, so we'll go the other way. 5-4. Pilots with the early lead here at the Child Center. Well, that's the one thing. You, you, you don't want to have opportunities taken away by making mistakes. Give yourself a chance at the offensive end with quality possessions. Strother, and here's Timmy. Timmy backing down. T-Rob. Timmy, you bet. Just so strong. Timmy now needs 14 points for 2,000. 14. Yeah, it's, I mean, you look at some of the talent that's gone through Gonzaga. And there's a great defensive possession right there by the Zags. Watson with the ball right there. Great hands. Spokane guy out of G Prep. Strother. Bomb. NBA three. You bet. And just like that, 9 5, Gonzaga. 7 0 run. Great little come behind right there and a nice stroke by Strother. The pilots, you cannot go under screens on these guys whatsoever. Another turnover. Hickman nudging. Ooh, Ooh gets hit hard by Naduka. Lands awkwardly. So Naduka gets tagged for that foul. His first team's first. Well, you take a, a look here with Watson just coming down. Nice little come behind. Goes underneath the screen right there. And a great look from the open court. So Hickman, the sophomore out of Seattle, with the pair coming, 88% free throw shooter. Really has improved his assist to turnover ratio, just getting more and more comfortable in that point guard role, J-Mo. He really is. And you know, big shoes to fill, obviously, but doing a great job, again, not only scoring, but running the show. Very poised. All right, 9 nothing. Gonzaga run. Pilots need to take care of the ball and get a quality shot. Robertson with the spin. Pretty shot. Well, and that's Robertson to a T right there, backing you down. Nice little jump hook over the right shoulder. The versatility of T-Rob, he's so strong. Yeah, he can play inside out. Yep. He does a really good job mismatching people up. And there's Watson from the three. Good rebound by Gorzito. Watson only shooting 26% from beyond the arc, and you could tell they were sagging off him. Robertson, good three-point shooter. Not there. Tip by Sholin, and oh, Moses. Well, you you appreciate the efforts on the glass right there, that's for sure. Pilots got everything started with a really fun putback slam. Little garbage here. There it is. And Gonzaga with the lead.
WCC Basketball is brought to you by University Credit Union, who invites you to experience the credit union difference. To learn more about the benefits of banking with a cooperative, visit ucu.org today. Federally insured by NCUA. And by Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. Here at the Child Center, Gonzaga leading Portland 11 to seven. We're early in the first half. Gonzaga coverage of the game is brought to you by Primera. Gonzaga very active defensively. They've got the good hands. And J-Mo, if you get lazy with your passes, they're going to be more than happy to pick them off. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, four turnovers resulting in nine of GU's 11 points in this first quarter. The Pilots have got to do a better job of making better decisions. So it's an 11-7 to 7 count, 14th rank, Gonzaga leading the Pilots. Gonzaga has scored nine points off of Portland turnovers. Wow. Yeah. Strawberry in. Sholin going underneath and just not with the urgency at the shooter. You've got to put a hand and make him put it on the ground. Strother wide open. And he's, you know, one of the best free throw, or excuse me, three-point shooters on this club. And in terms of makes and takes, he leads them as Watson will pick up that foul. Gonzaga foul number 22, and John Watson, his first person. His first, second, team second. Mike Meadows, who's dealt with injury after injury, missing so many games, entering the Portland lineup, and boy, do they need his veteran presence. Well, his leadership, his composure on the floor, and like you said, he's just been, you know, plagued with injury after injury, and really good to have him back if you're the Pilots. Sholin with the step back. Good lockout into the hands of Watson, and here comes Gonzaga. Looking to increase that lead. Strother, again, pulling the trigger. Naduka battling, lands into the hands of the pilot. Sholin wants it right back. He'll pull the trigger. Well, Portland with a couple good looks from the three-point line, just not shooting it well right now. with their transition defense, not giving Gonzaga anything at the rim in terms of transition buckets. Yeah, just too many open looks from the three-point line. Just can't nice, Look at Timmy. <laughs> Very crafty. You know, his footwork, ability to get by people, pivot in the paint, and just great touch. Applewhite checking in. That just looked like playground stuff right there. <laughs> Alden Applewhite has been terrific off the bench for the Pilots, the transfer out of Mississippi State. Good anticipation by Look Naduka. Look at Naduka, that is all hustle, and here comes Portland Wood. Looking up, doesn't have numbers. But just great hustle defense there. That's a great combo play by Moses and T-Rob to get the open look for Wood. And just a great shot, and that's exactly what Portland needs is to get hot from the three-point line. When they shoot the ball well from the three, they have a great chance of winning games. T-Rob waved everybody off, and for a split second, Gonzaga's defense fell asleep, and Wood was able to go in that short corner. Absolutely, and that's the one guy that you, if you're Gonzaga, you cannot give open looks from the perimeter. He is a guy that can really stroke it and can get going in a hurry. Wood, a 40% shooter from beyond the arc. He's got the 48 triples, the transfer out of UNLV. Before that, Tulane finding a home here in Portland, and he has been huge for Shante Leggins. Yeah, and you know, he's a guy, too, that in the beginning of conference play had a little bit of an injury, have, has found his way back, is feeling good, and you know, every time you're dealing with foot injuries, you just never know, but in the last four or five games, he's really got it going. Wood goes over 1,000 points against San Diego. T-Rob did that earlier in the season against the University of New Orleans. Milestone marks, and we're keeping track on Drew Timmy knocking on the door of 2,000. Yeah. He's close to going into second place all time, replacing Jim McPhee, who back in the day, super good. He played when I was there. 
It's back in the day. Back in the day. Strother again, lighting it up from beyond the arc. You gotta close on this guy. He's a 41% shooter from long range. Well, it's not just close. You gotta close out with urgency and you need to make him put it on the ground. Nine points now for Strother. He averages 13 and a half a pop. Great start for the veteran. Meadows takes a dribble and he'll go to the free throw line. He'll have three as Malachi Smith, who just checked in, tags Meadows. His first team's third. Three tosses now for Meadows. Good job of just reading that on ball, coming off, pulling it. Meadows, the redshirt junior out of California. He and T. Rob and Jack Perry following Shantae Leggins from Eastern Washington, transferring to Portland and completely changing the culture here from Eastern Washington and Cheney to the bluff. Yeah, I mean, the, those three guys just bought in from day one and they've been able to kind of pull all of the transfers, all the new guys in under Leggins. Obviously no Leggins system and have done a great job here of transitioning this program. Big ovation for Ben Gregg who just checks in, the Oregonian who's been with the program for a couple of years and showing great development. Yeah, he's just getting better and better and you know, getting to play with Timmy, I think, is certainly helping. Great hang time and a great finish. Well, oh, just the strength to go right into the teeth of the defense. Strother, nine of the last 13 points. As Vucinic, who checks in, wanted to get clever underneath, and now he'll set that pick that Meadows doesn't want. Meadows trying to get fancy. Greg with the board into the hand of Mike, but he steps out of bounds. Yeah, just unfortunate. He had landed out of bounds and didn't get his feet back in. Nice take to the rim, just didn't finish. I'd like to see him use his left hand right there on the opposite side of the rim, but again, great defense by Gonzaga. Mark Few, who has turned this program into blue blood material. Wood wants to take charge and go. Wood hesitates, step back, you bet. Moses Wood with a good start. Great start, and again, you just see his confidence getting bigger and bigger. The one guy Gonzaga really has to put a stop to, and there's Strother oh, again. Goodness. He's feeling it. Well, I guess, and everything is from distance for really the one shooter you don't want to leave alone is that guy. Exactly. If you take Strother away and you take turnovers away, you're in a different situation. And right on, right on key. More than with another turnover. So Moses Wood delivering the goods for Shantae Leggins as he has all season long, leading this club with almost 15 points a pop. Well, you see Moses again, just great job in transition of pulling up and hitting that. And then Strother just hot from the other end.
11.32 left to go in the first half. 14th ranked Gonzaga leading Portland 22-14. Time to take a look at our WCC tournament moment presented by University Credit Union. Pick to finish last in the 2019-20 WCC preseason poll. Portland, their women's team finished fourth and then went crazy in the 2020 University Credit Union WCC tournament on the way to its first tournament title since 1994. It was going to be their first NCAA tournament berth since 97. Unfortunately, due to COVID, that tournament was canceled. A lot of broken hearts on the bluff when that announcement came out. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely made a great run and unfortunate for a lot of teams that year with COVID. Jack Perry on the floor now for the Pilots. So Strother already in double figures for Gonzaga with 12 points and four triples. One off tying his career high in long balls. Well, and if you're Portland, you really have to make a defensive adjustment and make him do something different and not give him the looks from the perimeter. A little high low action. All right, Hunter Salas makes his presence felt coming off the bench and scoring nicely in traffic. Great job coming from that weak side for the putback. Efton Reed the third also in, giving Gonzaga more length. Smooth, Meadows just coming off that pick right there. Nice little curl for that mid-range jumper, and that's like her, his bread and butter. So the Pilots hanging around. Good hands by Meadows. Ooh. It looked like Strother had lost the handle. But Meadows is going to get tagged for his first personal third team infraction. Now they're doing a nice job of coming off that curl right there. Fortunate got called for the foul. Nice hands by Perry. Mike taking some contact. Applewhite. Wheeling and dealing on the baseline. He'll get it right back. Portland nearly turning it over. Meadows with 10 on the shot clock. T Rob. The footwork is there. And the turnover. Yeah, and that's the sixth turnover in the half for the Pilots. Credit Gonzaga's defense just putting the pressure, taking Tyler Robinson and making him uncomfortable from the perimeter. Nearing the halfway point of the first half, Strother, who's been dynamic from beyond the arc. The officials say that ball went off. The Pilots Wood back on the floor as Naduka returns as well. Well, Gonzaga, four of their last five from the field, getting quality looks on the offensive end. Greg, double team. That short corner is tough area for Gonzaga. And I think we have a three second violation. If you're Portland right here, you need a quality possession, get a lot of touches, get some ball swings, make the defense shift. See if the pilots have got a run in them. 24-16, possession so critical for the pilots. This ball hawking Gonzaga defense making things kind of uncomfortable. Wood got hit on the shot, nothing called. We're gonna go the other way. Timmy wanted it, Hickman didn't see him. And the turnover this time plaguing Gonzaga. Gonzaga's fifth turnover of the half. And again, that's one of the areas that, talking with coaches, something that they've got to continue to improve on in conference play. It's gotten a lot better, 10 or less a game. Well, that's going to be critical. Yes. Transition defense, taking care of the ball, and really giving themselves good looks. Timmy with a really high hedge there. I like it. Swinging the ball, 10 seconds now for Applewhite. Alden almost loses it. Air ball might have been touched and deflected. So here's Hickman. Timmy's been quiet. 
but his club leads. Really like the depth of this Gonzaga club. Oh, so many weapons and a great clear out wow. there by Timmy. Moses Wood, take that! Holy smokes, the timing! Mo, big fella! You see the nice penetration and the timing from the weak side. Great, great job, and then it goes off of Hickman. That got the crowd into it. Let's see if the pilots can answer with the bucket. Gorosito back on the floor for Portland. And Gorosito's going to be a guard. A nice job of taking the rim. A lot of contact right there. Gorosito, weak side rebound, air ball. Wanze keeps that dribble alive. Wood loves long ball. Yeah! Three-pointer, and the crowd is into it. 7 nothing. pilot run, 24-21. It's a one-possession lead for Gonzaga. Well, again, turnovers there by GU. Ends up with trash, transition buckets, and most with a huge three. One of the WCC's valued partners, Hercules Tires, wants to support mental health awareness by donating $1 for every three-pointer made during this year's men's and women's basketball regular season. The donation will be used to benefit student mental health initiatives. Conference-wide, Hercules Tires, the official tire of the WCC and Mental Health Strong. So a buzz in this building, Jennifer Mountain, as Moses Wood has taken things over as far as Portland scoring is concerned. 7 nothing pilot run. Yeah, he's got 13 points, and in that 7-0 run, Gonzaga turning the ball over and has scored in almost three minutes right there and off to a great start. Twenty-four, twenty-one, eight minutes to go. I, I would look for Gonzaga to get Timmy involved a little bit here. Portland doing a nice job of fronting him. Timmy doing a great job of finding the wide open teammate. Long ball by Hickman, no good. One and done, good defensive rebounding by the Pilots. Robertson. There's Naduka. Good slip by Naduka there. Gorosito, great fake. Air ball by Wood. That would have brought the house down. Yeah, pretty good look there for Portland. Again, Gonzaga in a little bit of a scoring drought. Haven't scored in over three minutes. Strother leading. The Dogs with 12 points. Timmy with but two at this point. Wood, I good. mean, elevating. Good defense by Portland. 
Gorosito so quick. Nice job by Bolton to head him off at the pass. Gorosito, Argentinian, just a freshman. He plays with a lot of grit and he's got a lot of personality. Moses tries to flip it inside to Naduka. That was a turnover waiting to happen. Bolton leading the charge. Uh oh, Strother. Boy, a rare miss from beyond the arc. Yeah. No numbers for Bonze. Mike looking for some help. T Rob can't bank it in. Ball up for grabs. Clever Hickman. Clever. Clever, and you can see right there the experience, the composure there by Hickman just slowing the tempo. Get a quality shot. Short corner for Bolton on the skip pass. Nice footwork. Moses Woods with Wood. a great defense. Defensive rebound right there. Wood really aggressive on both ends of the floor, J-Mo. Yeah, I mean, he's he's just been terrific so far, and I really like the philosophy in which Portland is playing. Timmy down low. They've got a, a smaller guard fronting him and helping, you know, with the bigger guy from the back. Nearly a five-minute drought for Gonzaga in terms of scoring. Good hands by Strother. He wants to go right at Wood. Now he'll pick it up and wait for his buddies. Again, just turnovers. Yeah. Timmy down low. You gotta love that matchup. Instead, he goes right to Strother. Cans it again. That's career tying five in terms of triples today. Well, Timmy with a great look for Strother. Portland's gonna call a quick timeout here. But he gets triple double teams and finds Strother on the perimeter. Obviously having a great shooting night so far. Three assists for Timmy. And you know, that, I think that's probably the thing that is, you know, underrated. He's such a great passer out of the post. And you got a guy that can score like that and, and make reads defensively for kickouts, you're gonna be in great shape. Strother, the junior out of Las Vegas, you know, he declares for the draft early entry. And then, you know, in June, he says, I think I'll come back. After that, Timmy said, I'm coming back too. And then Bolton the same, but Strother having himself a first half. He sure is, I mean. Nice in rhythm jumpers again and just the Portland defense has got to come out with a little bit more urgency But Timmy finding him again in the perimeter. I mean that's a contested jumper right there. That's just a great shot Yeah, I think coach few was real happy to have all three of those guys come on back Indeed I'd be smiling too and by the way today's smile of the game is brought to you by Delta Dental We're on a mission to help make Washington State 100% cavity free to learn more visit cavity free WA.com to see how we are making a difference in our community. Big possession for the Pilots with 5.13 left to go in the half. See if they can answer. T-Rob sells that foul. Timmy picks up the infraction. Well, easy call because he reached at it and any time, uh, you know, you're putting a hand on somebody, they're going to, it's easy call for the officials, but I like his high hedge. I mean, you got somebody that, with that kind of talent on the on ball, makes it a little bit hard for the opponent. T-Rob with only two points as well, and they're gonna need him to get going. They can't just put everything on wood. T-Rob, back rim and off. Great job by Vucinis to keep the ball alive, and Gorosito will go to the line for three as Hickman picks up his second. Well, Portland doing a great job again, collectively getting to the offensive glass, getting touches even, and Gorosito, that's his bread and butter, is that three-point line. He's not afraid to pull the trigger. Well, you tip your cap to Vucinic, yep. the sophomore, who really just knew he couldn't grab the ball, but tapped it right to Wanze. Yep, smart play. Gorosito, again, the freshman, the Argentinian, 78% free throw shooter. So far, so good. If you're a pilot fan, you get three of them when you get hacked beyond the arc. So two for two for Wanze. A great get for Shante Leggins in terms of the future. You're looking at it as a point guard for the pilots. UP continues a good run, 10 to three over the last six minutes. Under five to go in this half. Well, that's exactly what they needed. Gonzaga getting off to a really hot start offensively. 
Timmy, you gotta like this mismatch if you're Gonzaga. There's the double, ball bounces off the noggin of Watson, saves it. Smith, not there. Vucinic, good board, here comes T-Rob. Well, the, Timmy with the right read, just mishandled by Watson there. Mike missing badly. Yeah, unfortunate. That was a wide open look at yeah. the corner. You could hear the crowd collectively groan. That would have tied things up. All right. Here comes Watson. Going against Gorosito. Yeah. Yeah, really smart. Made a huge mismatch right there. And, you know, he's kind of the unsung hero for this Gonzaga team. Does a little bit of everything and really, you know, classmate of Timmy coming in and just they feed off each other so well. Gorosito off the pick and gets it home. Great footwork coming off that pick, and again, he is going to pull the trigger with a lot of confidence. The lead is two for Gonzaga. Timmy, patient, can't get it home. Vucinic playing good D with some help from T-Rob. Vucinic with great defense down there. Big B, looking for some help. He'll get it with Gorosito. Plenty of time on the shot clock. The lead is a deuce for Gonzaga. Portland with a chance to tie or take the lead. Gorosito going against Bolton. Stepping back. Pretty good look at it, but a contested three. Good defense and a good board by Timmy. Big time defense by Bolton. He would have none of that. It was a tough shot on that step back. Here's Timmy, the cutting Watson. He'll go to the line. Great again. High low combination. The ball goes short corner and finds his buddy cutting to the rim. Watson with free throws. Don't forget to stick around for the University Credit Union Halftime Show. We're going to sit down with Portland men's soccer coach Nick Carlin Boyd. What a job he is doing here on the club. That interview, stats, and more coming up on the University Credit Union Halftime Show. So the Pilots, without question, big-time underdogs going into this game. Jennifer Mountain, it's been a long time since the Pilots have defeated this Gonzaga bunch, and yet we're looking at a two-point game with 3.02 left to go in the first half. Absolutely. Uh, you know, Gonzaga came out really hot. Obviously, straw there really well from the three-point line, five of seven. Portland has kind of dug in, doing a good job of taking away down low opportunities for Timmy and getting themselves going. Moses Wood offensively doing a great job for Portland. Wood with the 13 points, Strother with the 15. That last foul, by the way, before we went to break was on Applewhite. In game one in Spokane, mid-January, it was 61-28 Gonzaga at the half. Think about that now in terms of, you know, flipping the script. Well, anytime you walk into the kennel, it is a tough place to play. But yes, uh, a definitely flip of the script. And, and like I said earlier, I mean, Gonzaga gets everybody's best shot. On, their, on the road, and, and right now, same thing here. 
They've done a great job of, again, just being confident, knowing with experience that they're going to be in every game. Under three to go in the first half. The lead is three for Gonzaga. Brief early lead for Portland right out of the shoots, but Gonzaga putting together a nice run behind Strother, looking to take control, but back came the Pilots behind Wood. Five on the shot clock. There's Mo. T-Rob looking for some position inside, but there is the turnover as we went late into the shot clock and good Gonzaga defense. Absolutely. Nine turnovers on the evening so far for Portland. Credit Gonzaga's defense. And, and talking with coaches again, the defensive end is the area in which they're really trying to work on, get better at. Offensively, I mean, their offensive efficiency is tremendous. Top three in the country. Strother elevating. Teardrop is good. You know, he's been camping out from beyond the arc, but shows little elevation there. Yeah, just, I mean, that's a, a great read right there on his part, getting to the rim. Nice little floater. I'd rather him take that shot than get open looks from the three. Yep. 17 points, though, for Strother. Gorosito over Timmy. Altering that shot is Drew. Running the floor is Timmy. And here comes Bolton. Oh, so good in transition. Actually, Portland doing a really nice job on the transition defense. Absolutely. Smith, tough shot, can't get it down. Ball tipped into the hands of Applewhite. Here comes Portland. Applewhite, athleticism has been a great addition to this club. Buck 40 left to go in the first half. Pilots can ill afford any more turnovers down the stretch. Robertson, so strong. Robertson will go to the line. Strother picks up that foul. Well, you, you know, before this game, I thought rebounding would be a huge factor right now. And, and really, Gonzaga is down 12 to 15 on the boards right now. Portland doing a tremendous job and a great take by Robertson right here with the contact. Strother with the foul. Strother's first foul. Team's sixth. T Rob, a great free throw shooter, one of the top in the conference, misses the first one. Yeah, he's had a tough first half. One of five yeah. on the field, 0 of three. And yet, the three point line. Yeah, and yet Portland in it as Sholin returns to the floor. Yeah, I mean, he's usually the guy that keeps them in games and is the glue of this group. Portland, uh, one of their last seven from the field. 32 28. 125 left to go in this first half. Pilots looking for a stop. Watson, alley oop inside to Timmy. He'll go to the line. Three bodies around Drew, but it didn't matter. He's just so darn strong. Well, that, and he goes straight to the rim on the catch. You know, he's not bringing it down. He's not pivoting. It's just immediate to the rim. And he's got quick elevation and, again, obviously the ability to finish. All right. Wood picks up his second. Do you take him out here? I'd probably take him out with a minute 20 just so that he doesn't pick up his third. He's so aggressive. You know, yeah. You know, he's a high flyer as... Timmy, I mean, you can trust him all day, but you just don't want to give anybody a chance to blow that whistle and, and put him, you know, with three going into halftime. Timmy, the senior out of Dallas with more makes and takes at the free throw line than anybody wearing Gonzaga gear. Great hustling rebound by Smith. Look at the hands by Naduka. Well, a great block by Robertson there. Much needed after that offensive board off a free throw. The lead is five. Gorosito. And now Robertson. Under a minute to go in this first half, and it's been a good one. T-Rob, nowhere close. Big board by Strother, and here comes Gonzaga. They'll kind of coast up the floor. Timmy, inside presence. Great defense. Look at Naduka stepping in front of Timmy. And Timmy says, hey, you traveled, Chica. Well, I think he's right, actually. Tough shot by Wood. Nothing going for the Pilots right now. Yeah, no field goals in over three minutes. Mm. And it's the quality of shot right there. Just too quick. Five-second differential between shot and game clock. Gonzaga is going to take its time. Leading by five. Ten on the shot clock now for Bolton. The senior transfer out of Iowa State. Bolton all the way to the rim. Clutch bucket by Bolton. And that's going to be on Wood. Now that is a gamble that did not pay off for the Pilots. You're absolutely right. And he's got to know to not 
contest that right there. Well, Give up the two. As we talked about, you know, it, it, his energy level, and he's a high flyer, and he's looking for blocks all the time. And man, you, know, you, you gotta have a short leash when you're playing with two fouls. Well, Bolton just with explosive step to the rim. Great finish. Can't complete the three-point play. The pilots have plenty of time if they can get a quality shot. There's the trip. And with 2.6 left, Bolton will pick up his first, team's seventh. So T-Rob to the line with 2.6 left. We know Gonzaga is going to be leading at halftime, J-Mo. If all the pilots, despite this drought, are you taking away some positives in the first half? Absolutely. I think they've done a great job of taking away Timmy early in the game, making it difficult for him. Defensively, I thought they've done a nice job, especially on the boards. It's just the offensive turnovers and then just not getting quality shots and, and not scoring the ball at times. You just cannot do that against a quality team like Gonzaga. T-Rob sticks the front end of the one and one. I'm with you all the way there, and obviously Wood will sit down with the three fouls, and boy, it'll take some judicious wrangling by Leggins rimming out to figure out how much to use him. Good if it goes! At the end of the first half, Gonzaga 35. So, that'll do it. Great first half, back and forth. Both of these teams punching and counter-punching with runs. The late drought by the Pilots hurting the cause, and Gonzaga will go into the locker room leading it 35-29. Gonzaga has won 14 straight over the Pilots. Pilots still picking their end this. And you look at the score, and yeah, they are. So second half is going to be a blast. Stick around. WCC Halftime has been brought to you by University Credit Union, who invite you to experience the credit union difference. To learn more about the benefits of banking with a cooperative, visit ucu.org today. Federally insured by NCUA.
Welcome back to the Child Center. I am just tickled to be sitting elbow to elbow with Nick Carlin Boyd, the head coach of the University of Portland men's soccer team. Nick, thanks so much for slipping on the headset. Really appreciate you taking the time. I know that it's a busy off season for you, so you just sit here for a few minutes and let's talk soccer. How about it? Thanks for having me. Heck yeah. All right, seven years at UP. When you take the job after coming from a great assistant gig at UCLA, you take the job and the Portland Pilot Program, which was just in its glory days a few decades ago, you bring it back to that feeling, that energy, that vibe. How tough was it to bring it back or was it just right there at the taking? It was a lot of work and, you know, the collective, the community got behind us. The players were fantastic. Obviously, we're on the, the shoulders of giants, everything that Clive and built built here. You know, we're just uh, wanted to continue that legacy. But I think we, we talk a lot about the past and make sure we understand the past. But our guys this year wanted to make their own history. And we did that, you know, making the lead eight and, and having the run that we had. So it was uh, a lot of work. Uh, but good work and fun work, and it was just a magical year. That run this season, I mean, you've taken the club to the NCAA tournament four times in your seven years, but the run this year was magical. And from day one, I remember conversations you and I had, we'll play anybody anytime. Playing this monster non-conference schedule is just going to make us better in November and December, and it paid off. Yeah, we had a great schedule, you know. It's hard to do a lot of things for the first time here. But beating UCLA for the first time in a regular season was fantastic. And then, you know, we, we don't consider ourselves a mid-major. We want to be a power power school, and I think we want to be a destination. And I think our guys uh, play with a chip on their shoulder. They, they want to entertain the fans. They want to play good football. They want to score goals. They, they want to get butts in the seats there in Merlot. And it was fantastic this year. You know, Merlot Magic was alive, and, was. and that was fun. It was. Merlot Magic was alive. And I know you lose quality guys to professional contracts, some to graduation, and yet the recruiting classes that you've brought in, including next year's Top Chef, let's talk about that. Yeah, you know, recruiting's a lifeblood of a program, you and, you know, we sell guys on coming and get a great education on the bluff, Catholic education, fitting our institution. Ultimately, I want to help them reach their goals and their full potential, and for many boys, that's going pro. So to have four guys this year go pro, maybe a few more, to, to watch them turn on the TV and, and see them in the MLS is fantastic. Benji Michel is now in Portugal playing in the first division. That? So, you know, we're just so tickled that uh, our guys can develop here and the fans can watch the stars of tomorrow. So, you know, it's been it's been a great ride and, you know, the, the, the job's not done. We, we, we want to win a national championship here and, and, and that's the goal and that's what we're working for every day. I dig it. Nick, thanks so much for taking the time. Thanks so much for having me. Love having you. All right, you've been watching the University Credit Union Halftime Show. Stick around. We will continue our halftime show when we come back.
WCC Basketball is brought to you by Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. What a gorgeous night here in Portland. We're at the Child Center on the campus of the University of Portland. We're 14th rank, rank Gonzaga leading the Pilots 35-29. Let's take a look at our Jersey Mike's play of the first half, Jennifer Mountain. Well, just a tremendous job by Wood here on this penetration of coming over and making the big time defensive block. Hickman coming off penetration, great timing, and it goes off of Hickman out of bounds to the Pilots. Moses Wood, aggressive, but maybe a little too aggressive as he picked up his third foul late in that first half. All right, second half right around the corner. You have been watching the University Credit Union Halftime Show. Shante Leggins, always chirping, love the guy. 35-29, his pilot's right in this thing, trailing Gonzaga and Mark Few. As we start the second half, J-Mo, this is a Gonzaga club that leads the nation in terms of scoring and scoring offense. But Portland's defense was pretty good in that first half. Yeah, did a nice job, I thought, of taking away Timmy early, making it difficult on him. Obviously gave up the perimeter three to Strother, but uh, overall, I think pretty good. 45% from the field. Wood is starting the second half with the three fouls. Sholin backing up Watson. Step back, tough shot, way short. Well, great defense by Watson right there individually, just making it difficult on Sholin. Sholin really busy in the beginning of the game and has kind of been silent, maybe after that first three minutes. Bolton going right at Naduka. Good hands by Gorosito, strips it away. And here comes Wanze. Sholin wanted it high, low. Angle wasn't there, so here's T-Rob with plenty of time on the shot clock. Can Robertson get things going? He was really quiet that first half. That's got to change. Well, you can see, again, there's another turnover. That's the 10th of the game for the Pilots. Strother playing great defense 
on Sholin inside. Yeah, I mean, that's one of their things. They're trying to go inside on him, and it's just not happening. Super strong, and there's a great take by Watson to the rim. So Watson gives it up to Bolton, dives to the cup, and Bolton finds him. He's just so solid. 37-29, second half. Underway, turnover, Gorosito a little lazy with that pass. And here comes Strother, wheeling around. T. Robin off the glass, sweet stick by Strother. What a game for this young man. He has been dynamic, first from beyond the arc and aggressive to the cup as well. Well, just a terrific job. You gotta respect the three and then just taking him off the dribble and a nice, nice little runner off the top of the key. Strother is just eating up, carving up, having his way with the pilot defense. The lead is 10. WCC action is brought to you by Ticket Smarter. Proud to be the official ticket resale partner of the WCC. Nothing beats the power and excitement of live events like Ticket Smarter. Visit TicketSmarter.com today. And by Cal Hope. Visit CalHope.org today for free mental health help. Hot start for Gonzaga to begin this second half. JMO. We're early in the second period, 10-point Gonzaga lead, another uphill climb for the Pilots. Well, and again, I credit Gonzaga's defense creating these turnovers, leading to easy looks, and nice job in transition, just getting, getting out and going. Pilots again plagued by the turnovers. Wood on the floor with the three fouls. Risky move by Shantae Leggins, but he's going with the guy who's been scoring. Nobody else has been for the Pilots. Yeah, and, and with this Portland squad, you have multiple guys that can put up double figures. Just haven't scored good hands by Watson. So five on the shot clock for the Pilots. They're going to have to come up with something and quickly against this really tough Gonzaga defense. A good find. Naduka. And Chica splashes home the three. And Naduka, not known for his three-point shooting, that's his third triple of the season. Well, a great out-of-bounds pass by Robertson right there. Just kind of caught the defense sleeping again. Not in his repertoire most of the time, but Naduka hits a huge three for the Pilots. That breaks the scoring drought, gets the Pilots on the board in the second half. The lead is seven for Gonzaga. Here's Timmy. Just a dart in the short, short corner. Hickman, that's off. Naduka steps in for the board, and Chica's going to bring it up. Well, Chica's just come in, come in and give them great energy. Done a great job on the boards. Recent starter, Gorosito and Naduka high-low. Robert. 
Jefferson. He'll go to the line. Smart job right there by Gorzito on the entry pass right up to the rim. Didn't bring it down and got, got himself to the free throw line. And that's one thing right there. If you're not scoring from the perimeter, you're not doing a good job of shooting the ball, get yourself to the line. So Robertson will have a couple. Hey, stay tuned for more West Coast Conference basketball. Coming up next, most of you will see San Diego hosting USF. Head over to WCCSports.com to find the station in your area. Three fouls now on Hickman. Make a note of that so he and Wood both in foul trouble as T-Rob hits a pair. Points at a premium for the Pilots. They'll take it any way they can get it. Good D by Gorosito on Strother. Right in his grill. And the block is going to go against Gorosito. Thought he had position, did Juanze, but nope, going to get nicked for that one. Well, he did a nice job of sliding over, just a little too much contact. Strother doing a nice job right there, too much contact. Catches him on the side, and a good call by the officials. Portland with the steal on. T-Rob chugging, going all the way to the cup. T-Rob heading back to the locker room <laughs> by the time he puts on the brakes. Well, they're calling it on the ground. So the Pilots will have the ball out of bounds. Wood. Wow. And I mean, that is huge. He's got the three fouls. Keep me in, coach. Why not? Well, absolutely great job in rhythm. And that was a contested jumper. Strother right there in his face. 8-0 pilot run. Wood continues his scintillating shooting. 16 points now for Moses Wood over his seasonal average of 15. Well, Timmy. Yeah, and for you, Timmy, smart because you you got Wood on you with three fouls. You know he's not going to pick up another one. And nice job by Timmy, who's been relatively quiet tonight. Timmy now needs 11 for 2,000. The countdown continues here in the City of Roses. Drew Timmy, one of the most dynamic players we've seen in a long time. And the travel's going to go against Gorosito. Well, that's a couple times now that Gorosito has kind of over-penetrated to the paint. Because he obviously, at his smaller stature, is not going to go up and over these guys. He's got to pick the ball up a little bit sooner or kick. Legs, former point guard himself. And a good one in the D1 ranks. Scolding his yearling for the turnover. The lead is four. Here's Timmy. you got to like this mismatch if you're Timmy. Let's see what kind of help comes his way. Travel against Timmy. Naduka chirping a little bit, as Chica is wont to do. 41-37, the Pilots more than hanging tough. They are in this thing. Gonzaga's got a fight coming from the Pilots. We're early in the second half. This has been fun.
Today's game is brought to you by Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength by visiting HerculesTires.com. And by Nike, a proud partner of the WCC. While you watch West Coast Conference action, join the conversation. All you got to do is use hashtag WCC Hoops. And for the latest news, scores, and more, follow WCC Hoops on Twitter. All right, attendance announced 4,500. Child Center is rocking and rolling. This is the kind of crowd that Shantae Leggins envisioned when he took this job, he in his second year on the bluff. You want Gonzaga coming in, you want him as ranked as high as you could possibly have him, and you want to play him tough. Yeah, you have, it was a great atmosphere today, and, and so far a great game by both teams. Again, game one, not that long ago, January 14th in Spokane, Gonzaga at the time ranked eighth, winning at 115 to 75. This game was a blowout early, not tonight. Here's Meadows on the floor again. 10 on the shot clock, dumping it inside, a near turnover. Naduka again. So five straight points for Naduka. Yeah, and very fortunate right there of not turning the basketball over. Timmy with the offensive board. Good and position by Drew. I'll tell you, he runs the floor better than any big man in the country, man. He gets up and down the floor. Yeah, rebounding, you know, I, I think I mentioned it earlier. It's, you, you look at the boards right now, that's only the third offensive board for Gonzaga in the game. And they're losing the rebounding court category 19-18. T-Rob taking it right to Timmy. It'll belong to the Zags, but T-Rob giving up length, and a lot of it goes chest to chest, toe to toe with the great Drew Timmy. And by the way, Naduka picked up that third foul on the infraction against Timmy moments ago. Here's Strother looking for a cutter. He'll find one in Smith. Seven on the shot clock. Oh, the alley-oop perfectly run. Watson flushes it. Well, just a great read. Watson cuts to the rim and a nice finish. Healthy number of Gonzaga fans in the crowd. They appreciated that play. I did too. A lot of alums in the building tonight. Speaking of, Jennifer Mountain, former <laughs> Gonzaga great, 1,400 career points. Well, Wood lost it for a second and then was able to tie it up, but the possession arrow favors Gonzaga. And again, just turnovers plaguing the pilots. Let's break this alley-oop play down. This is pretty. Oh, just a great job of penetration. Weak side help comes over and Watson can slam. 43, 39, 14, 30 left to go in this second half. Back and forth affair, both teams putting together runs, aggressive defenses, some of the big stars in foul trouble. Uh-oh, that's gonna be an over and back. Boy, if you're Strother, you don't wanna make that play right there because that was gonna be right into the hands of Gorosito. Yep. But over and back will slow everything down, ball belonging to Portland. Well, credit Portland's defense. That's the 10th turnover by the Zags in this game tonight, and that's one of the areas that, again, that they've improved on. West Coast Conference play, they're 10 or less, and sitting at 10 with almost 15 to go. Could this be yet another close conference game for Gonzaga? It seems lately, game after game in WCC play, going down to the wire. Well, I tell you, I mean, once you get into conference, scouting becomes way different. And like I said, they're getting everybody's best shot every night out. Wood, great fake air ball. But you don't see Mo no. tee that up that short. Smith, and now Timmy with Strother. Strother needs one more triple for a career high six. Ball on the deck, teardrop again. Oh, that is just pretty. I mean, great job of faking three, getting to the rim, and again, nice little runner in the mid-range mid game. Strother has just been brilliant tonight. Quick hands, Watson. And that's where he can really hurt you defensively. Watson's so good. So Watson, uh, you know, 26, 25, 26% three-point shooter, but wide open. 
GU on a 7-0 run here. Quality looks, getting to the rim, and then knock, Watson knocking down the three. Strother with another 20-point game. And boy, Wanze, that was gutsy. It was, and it was huge because they have not scored for over four or two minutes. Timmy gets hooked with T-Rob so strong that he just still keeps playing through. Well, Timmy doing a great job. Again, of running the floor, rim running, getting position down low. Robinson behind him. He's going to find Gorzito there for that three in the corner, which was a huge bucket for the Pilots. Gorzito now with nine points. Recent starter for the Pilots, just a freshman. Two over his seasonal average. Strother again loving that little teardrop well i mean he's just coming downhill at you there's no stopping him with that kind of speed respect the range obviously but just a great job getting to the paint strother now with 23 that ties a career high what a game julian strother is enjoying here in portland fade away stepping back meadows nice job by meadows I mean, right now, I mean, points in the paint, 28 to 8 in Gonzaga's favor. Look at the Duca. strip. Yep. Meadows leaves it. Gorosito, quick shot. Naduka with the hustle play. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big Drew. Oh, T Rob. Listen to the crowd. Great hustle on both ends of the floor by Naduka. T-Rob with a great block from behind. Heart and soul of this team, Tyler Robertson not quitting on the play. The place went nuts. Look at this. March Madness is right around the quarter, including this year's University Credit Union WCC Basketball Tournament from Las Vegas. Single season and single session, excuse me, tickets are on sale now. Visit WCCSports.com for matchups, brackets, and everything you need to know for this year's tournament. All right. Tyler Robertson with three blocks. That is a career high. And he's not scoring like we usually see him score. Doing pretty well from the charity stripe. But how great has he been defensively and keeping his guys in it? Well, I mean, and that's what T-Rob does. I mean, he's the glue of this, this squad. And if he's not scoring the ball, he's going to do it in other areas. And great job defensively. Nice block right before that timeout. And just hustle plays. T-Rob with six points. The three rebounds, six assists, and a career-high three blocks. All right, inbounding will be Gonzaga with the ball with the lead. 12 minutes to go in this second half, and it has been a blast. Well, right now, Gonzaga just getting to the paint on the pilots. 
in multiple positions, multiple ways, multiple people. 28 to 8. Hickman, great hesitation. Look inside. Everybody's pointing all different directions, and the ball will belong to the pilots as Vucinic checks into Portland's lineup along with Applewhite. Well, Hickman with just an explosion staff to the rim there. Great in and out dribble. This handle on the pass there, with the, that's their 12th turnover of the night. Salas on the floor for Gonzaga. Applewhite putting his head down. Applewhite, tough shot. The left-hander couldn't get it in on the sweet spot. And here comes Strother. Yeah, good idea, just short on the shot. Right, high, low. Gorosito coming over to play the help defense as Watson looked like he had a clear shot at the rim. So Gorosito with his second foul, team's fifth. Again, Timmy with the high-low option there with his buddy Watson. They work so well together. Great feed. Watson rimming out. 60% free throw shooter out of Spokane. Local boy staying home, enjoying a career year. You know, a fellow that flies under the radar, great defender, and, and he's just been a difference maker for this club. Well, he does all the, the little things, just like that, that hustle play right there. And defensively terrific. Gorosito, Gorosito, Wante! Well, this is where he thrives, in the full court, transition points. And he loves the high emotion. 50-46, Strother, you're looking at a new career high in triples, young man. Well done. Strother just doing a great job of hitting perimeter shots, taking people off the bounce. Terrific night. Six trays now for Strother. What a game. New career high in triples and points scored. What a game for Strother. T-Rob, the answer, not there. Applewhite, yes! Great weak side board by Applewhite. A great putback again, coming in and giving big minutes for the Pilots. Great answer by the Pilots, hanging around, and then some as Greg checks into the Spoker, excuse me, the Gonzaga lineup. Here's a good look at the Oregonian. He's rolling, wanted it. Instead, it's Hickman, Watson battling. Watson blocked inside by Vucinic. Oh, the defense interior-wise for Portland. Here's our Hercules tire strong move of the game. Hercules tires ride on our strength. T-Rob, what do you got? Well, again, that block from behind, just great hustle. Everybody in the building thought Timmy had an easy two. Not so let, not so much. So did Drew. Drew never saw the Aussie coming. Rimming out. Big battle there, Greg and Wood, who's done a nice job, Moses, of staying out of further foul trouble. Possession arrow favoring Portland. You're absolutely right. He's kind of weathered the storm here. Could be more like himself. Didn't put himself in a position to pick up a quick one. And doing a great job on both ends of the floor. 16 points, three rebounds. The lead is five for Gonzaga. 9.50 left to go in this second half. Packed house here at the Child Center. Dead ball away from the ball. Dead ball foul. So Strother will pick up his second. Team's third. You know, the last time Gonzaga was in the house, J-Mo, was the COVID year. The fans weren't allowed in. And obviously, crickets were chirping because <laughs> there weren't any bodies besides, you know, players, coaches, trainers. You get the idea. Yep. So this is fun. Mistake defensively by the pilots. Miscommunication, and they made him pay. That's the way Salas's mom, Jessica, used to shoot the ball. <laughs> Superstar back in Omaha, Nebraska, Jessica Haynes. That's awesome. 
Gorosito feeling it. Oh my goodness! Blase! It's the Gorosito show! Well, I'll tell you, you give, give somebody some confidence, you get some looks, anything can happen. Gorosito with the career high, 17 points. The lead is two. Helps side defense. Watson, short, ball knocked away. Greg is going to try and reverse it in. Instead, it's Strother, white hot, and does it again. What a game. Well, just a terrific job. Again, crashing the offensive glass. Greg finds Strother, and he hits another one. Oh, this eggs. game, this game. Just featuring different guys stepping up, hitting big shots. Man, how about Strother's answer? Five on the shot clock. You got to look for a cutter here. Here's T Rob. Gonna force it. T Rob. Oh! oh. Was, that was close. Yeah, it really was. T Rob almost created some magic there. This crowd is up and roaring. I don't care what color you're wearing. This is a great game. 59 54 Gonzaga with the lead. Strother, career night. Gorosito, career night. Blanche. Today's trivia question is brought to you by Arby's. Brought to you by Arby's, your delicious neighborhood meat crafter. Stop by Arby's today. Arby's, we have the meats. All right, here's a question. J-Mo, you don't get to play because okay. you went to Gonzaga <laughs> and grew up in Portland, so you don't get to play. All right. How many miles apart is Gonzaga University from the University of Portland? 502 miles, 260, or 358 miles? Jimo, write down, don't say anything, write down which one you think it is. All right. Everybody, get your calculators out. You know, and if anybody's Googling this, you, you, come on now. And the answer is, C, 358 miles. I have driven that a few times yeah, in my you life. you have, and you've got it right, by the way, Jimo. And you didn't use your phone. J-Mo writes it down <laughs> quietly. The letter C, circle, and that is exactly right. 358 miles. All right. Whew, what a game. 747 left to go in this thing. Gonzaga with the ball with the lead. Working the perimeter. Timmy wants it inside against Wood. The outside shooting. This time it's Smith. Big shot right there for the Zags. Gonzaga really hurt Portland from beyond the arc. 62-54. Again and again, the Pilots digging themselves out of holes, but they've been able to ring the bell in the comeback department. 
Robertson going up against Watson. What a matchup this is. Um, T-Rock loses it. Watson just holding his ground, physically doing a great job. And he gets the turnover. Gonzaga's top defender showing us why. Gorosito has scored nine of Portland's last 11 points. Oh, what a finish! Malachi Smith takes the contact with the reverse. He'll go to the line and one! Well, back-to-back -back buckets by Smith, just doing a great job. Hits the three prior possession and gets himself to the rim. Great cut. Great job of finishing the contact. Old-fashioned and one. Man, Robertson picks up his second. That was a sweet move. Great body control by the Illinois superstar. Transfer out of Chattanooga. What a job he has done in terms of immediately impacting this Gonzaga program. And now a 9-0 Bulldog run. How quickly and how fast it can change. Just like that on cue, you need a bucket, you dial up Moses Wood. 19 points in the night and another big three for Wood. That was huge. Stops the bleeding a little bit, gets the crowd still believing with 6.18 left to go in the second half. Both squads really efficient right now from the floor. Timmy going against Wood. Remember, Moses has the four fouls. And Naduka just hammers Watson. Well, it's a good foul, not allowing him to get the ball up. But again, Timmy with a great find across the baseline to Watson with the pass. Well, it's Naduka's fourth foul, seventh team foul. So the foul's adding up on the pilots with 6.06 left. And it's going to be a lot of tosses from the charity strike for Gonzaga. Watson, rimming out the first one. Time to look at our Ticket Smarter WCC scoreboard. So, earlier today, Pacific defeating Santa Clara 95-89, and then a trio of games coming up in WCC play. Watson hits that second one. He's two of six from the free throw line tonight.
is less than 10 triples a game. And Strother has just gobbled up all of them. Well, first time around when they met, they had 17 threes against Portland. You know, Portland, I would say, has a size disadvantage against these guys. And obviously taking away inside play is going to open up the perimeter. And Strother is certainly taking advantage of it. A night that you can only dream of for the junior out of Las Vegas. All those high school points that he racked up. But this is mighty special. Gorosito, Timmy gets him. Gorosito is going to go right up against Drew.
75-61 Gonzaga pulling away from Portland. 2.37 left to go in the second half here at the Child Center. The WCC will celebrate Bill Russell Recognition Week next week, and every student athlete across the conference will wear a special number six shirt prior to the games on February 2nd and February 4th. One of the all-time great players at the University of San Francisco, and of course then with the Boston Celtics. His social activism in his later, well, all of his life, and then all the way up until his last, last breath, that guy, a hero to many. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. 75-61, J-Mo with 8.50 left to go in this game. When Gorosito was going wacko, yep. It was 56-54 Gonzaga. Portland trailed by a deuce, 8.50 left to go, give or take a few seconds. And look what Gonzaga has done down the stretch. Well, it's the experience of being in close games. You got multiple guys that can score inside out, and, and Gonza just, Gonzaga doing a great job of just getting quality looks. Naduka rimming out, 53% free throw shooter is the Seattle, Washington native. And if you're the pilot, you can't afford misses like that from the free throw line with two and a half to go. Misses them both. Robertson, look at that. T-Rob misses the layup, just that kind of night. He has been unbelievably high barnet in terms of hustle, but that's when he'd like back. Yeah. 220 left, the game looks to be solidly in the back pocket of 14th rank Gonzaga. The Pilots giving this team everything it could even hope to defend. Yeah, I mean, really good moments off, obviously. Gonzaga just too much for the Pilots from the perimeter. And then I really think that they did a great job this last five minutes of really putting stops. Gonzaga play of the game is brought to you by MultiCare Health System. Whether you're at home or in the kennel, MultiCare's team of doctors, nurses, and specialists partner with you all season long. You, know, you see the nice cut there. Man. And a great finish with contact. Smith did a great job. Smith off the bench, contributing with the six points. Both teams have had really good bench production, production from some of their guys. And you'd never believe this was a two-point game seven minutes ago. Well, Gonzaga can fill the stat sheet yep. up in a hurry, hurry and just did a great job. And there's a nice entry pass to Vucinic with a nice finish. Gorosito high-lowing it with Vucinic. Hickman leaving it. Okay, all right, <laughs> Julian. I, that, no, I'm laughing too, pal. Come on now, come on now. Oh, have you been a joy to watch tonight, Julian Strother. Oh man, in all areas, and a good shot there by Wood. Or excuse me, Meadows with the little step back. It's time to announce today's player of the game presented by A to Z Rental. No job, too big, too small, with eight convenient locations. We rent everything. Let A to Z Rental be your most valuable player. Gee, I wonder. <laughs> oh, what a game he has had. Just terrific. He's got 40 points on the night. Scored in all different areas. I mean, obviously did a great job from the three, but you see him, that last possession yeah. coming off the backside for the little putback, rebounding wise, and nothing but smiles on that guy's face. Strother, 40 points, obliterating his career high of 23 coming into tonight's contest. Eight triples, also a career high. And to your point, J-Mo, scoring every which way. Initially, you know, heat seeking missiles from long range. Yep. And then those little teardrops, the drives and the floaters and the athleticism of this guy. Uh, you're absolutely right. And uh, just beautiful to watch. I mean, you got to expect the three, obviously, the way you got going. And then great, take somebody off the dribble, finish with floaters, got to the paint. And then, like I said, multiple little putbacks coming off the weak side with boards. Las Vegas native last year. 
was a starter, but more of a role guy last year, and now he's developed into the number two scorer behind Timmy, and this just vaults him up into the stratosphere. There have been a lot of great players coming through Spokane, and this performance, you got to tip your cap. Yeah, he's had a great individual performance. Great team effort as well by the Zags. Like I said, every night out, they're getting everybody's best shot, and I thought Portland did a really good job for a majority of the game. Did a great job of taking Timmy out of the game early. What'd you learn about the Pilots tonight, JMO? They got some grit. I think, you know, again, they showed some really good, you know, moments during the game. I thought Gorzito was really good, and I think he's really been a great addition in the last three weeks. With Meadows being out, you know, that's a, a, a guy that's coming in as a true freshman, making big shots, big plays. You know, they've got to have multiple guys scoring in double figures. You know, Tyler Robinson did not have one of his normal offensive production nights, but would really good for them from the perimeter. Gonzaga's upcoming schedule brought to you by Idaho Central Credit Union. Idaho Central Credit Union, your financial success fan club. Well, they'll go to uh, Santa Clara on Thursday, or excuse me, they have Santa Clara at home on Thursday, and then at number two, 22 St. Mary's, and then San Francisco the following week. Nice stick by Meadows, while Portland on the other side of the ledger with a couple on the road against San Diego and Pepperdine. Those are going to be really big games for Portland. You know, they're going to drop this one. They're going to go three to three and six in conference play, and most people would not put this in the win column on paper, but they're going to have big games coming up next week. There's Portland's schedule presented by Jersey Mike's. Thursday at San Diego and at Pep, and then they come home with the Pacific, and then big game with number 22 St. Mary's at home on the 11th. But next weekend, I think, is, is a huge week for the Pilots. Good look at Leggins as Timmy will sit down, not hitting the 2,000 point mark, but playing his tail off. You know, in Spokane, they call it FDE, the full Drew experience. <laughs> and he, he gives it to you. Mike Meadows, good hustle. He is a zag true and true. I mean, his personality and <laughs> what he's done with that program. He's got a podcast. So Smith will back it out. Five seconds, shot clock, game clock differential. Pro Gonzaga crowd behind the Gonzaga bench, standing and cheering. They're going to get a shot clock violation yep. just with difference in classy move right there by the Zags. A two-point game with 8.50 left to go turns in to a big victory for Gonzaga. The buzzer will tell you. 82-67. Yeah, I thought I, Portland had some great moments, but again, the experience, Gonzaga's been in these games day in and day out and made big shots when they needed to and got stops defensively, more importantly, I think, and coming out with a big win on the road for them. This game much, much closer than the final score indicates. Portland, with one of its better games since the PK Night Invitational, really came to play, and it wasn't until the final moments that Gonzaga pulled away. That's going to do it from the Child Center. 14th ranked Gonzaga defeating Portland 82-67. Bulldogs move to 7-1 at WCC play, continue to dominate the Pilots. For Jennifer Mountain and our entire broadcast crew, I'm Ann Schott saying so long from the bluff. Thanks for spending your Saturday afternoon and early evening with us. We love it when you do. And enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. 82-67, Gonzaga.